Hello, you are tuning in to the Black Political Buzz Network, and my name is Laurel. I am your host. Thank you today for tuning in. On today's broadcast, or today's uh, Black Political Buzz uh, Network broadcast, I'll be speaking on the topic of the importance of standing and marching in 2014 for change. The importance of standing and marching in 2014 for change. As we all know, there is an, um, a, a very important election approaching us in this November. This November is a very significant election, general election, because this election would determine which political party will be able to, will take charge of the Senate. This November, it is imperative that every voter goes to the polls to cast their ballot because your ballot will determine what, which political party will uh, be in charge of the U.S. Senate. As of right now, the Democrats are in charge of the U.S. Senate. I have not, I repeat, I have not been in agreement with the way the Democrats have um, rule the U.S. Senate. However, I am not anti-Democrat, nor am I um, a person who advocates everything or every idea that the GOP or the Republican Party um, advocates. I don't endorse either party 100%. I'm a registered independent voter. I am a registered independent voter, and I, I'm also a swing voter. I'm also a swing voter. I do not endorse either party's platform 100%. There are some um, ideas that I like um, that the uh, Democrats are advocating, just as there are some ideas that I uh, endorse by the, um, uh, from the GOP or the Republican Party. So it is imperative this fall that every registered American voter go to the polls, the exit polls in November to cast their ballot. The, the, the direction of our country currently as it stands, it needs a change. I am an African American slash black voter and I currently reside in the state of North Carolina. And if you are a black citizen residing in the state of North Carolina, you know that your vote is significant in order for change to occur. Black voters currently in this state, even though it is the 21st century and the year 2014, black citizens in North Carolina, our civil rights are slowly but surely being eroded, being eliminated. I repeat. The civil rights for black citizens in North Carolina are slowly but surely being eliminated and eroded, wiped out completely. Jim Crow, or should I so or should I say James Crow? James Crow is Jim Crow's nephew. Jim Crow and James Crow are alive and well in North Carolina. And if black voters do not get out and vote this November, this is considered the midterm elections because this is not the year of a general election, such as in a presidential election. The next presidential election will take place November of 2016. However, this, this election is nonetheless still very significant. And I'm asking, if you are a black voter who resides in the state of North Carolina, you cannot afford to sit home and not go to the polls and vote. Your casting your ballot will make a difference. You may not think it will, but it will. Please get out and vote. I can't tell you who to vote for. I cannot endorse 100% Tom Tillis or Kay Hagan. Kay Hagan is the incumbent U.S. Senator for the state of North Carolina. Her opponent is Tom Tillis. I cannot em endorse either of them 100%, but I'm asking you still to go vote. Please vote for a U.S. Senate candidate. If you want to know what Kay, ha what Kay Hagan's platform is, 
read her platform issues. If you want to know what Tom Tillis platform issues are, read his platform issues. Go to their websites, call their offices, find out where they stand on the issues of education, employment. If you're a black voter, find out what their stance is for black voters and black citizens in, in North Carolina. That if they give a vague answer, don't vote for them because black citizens in North Carolina are not being treated fairly. We don't, it's, we, it's, it's like we don't even have, have no rights at all. It's almost it's like we're living in the 1960s. We have very few rights right now in North Carolina, and that is a shame. If you are a black citizen, we have very few rights right now, and that's a shame. This has to change. We must stand up. We must march peacefully, protest peacefully, and we must go out to vote. We cannot, if you don't vote, you don't have a voice in North Carolina or in any state. If you don't vote, then don't complain. I repeat, if you don't vote, don't complain. You can't expect change to take place in the educational system as it relates to taxation, small business, the criminal justice system, the um, probation system, employment. You can't expect change to take place in any area of government in North Carolina or any other state if you don't go vote. If you don't vote, don't complain. But I'm asking you to get out this November and go to the polls and vote. You can either vote for on the Senate level in North Carolina. You, you have a choice. Kay Hagan, the incumbent, or Tom Tillis. Don't vote your party. Vote your issues. Vote for the candidate whose platform mirrors where you stand on the important issues for your state. In North Carolina, employment is, is a number one issue. Education is number two. Small business and taxation is number three. And last but certainly not least, last but certainly not least, is the, the criminal justice system in North Carolina. Because there are too many black people being thrown in jail on trumped up duplicate charges, there are too many black people, black people being stopped on the side of the road for excessive traffic stops for no reason, no proper cause, because the criminal justice system here is racist. North Carolina's criminal justice system is racist, and we cannot, we cannot effect change or we cannot make change occur if we don't vote. So I'm asking you to go to the polls, stand up. Make your voice heard in North Carolina and go vote this November 2014. Stand up for change. March for change. Every time there's a protest, a peaceful protest taking place in North Carolina, you should be a part of it. If it's in your, if it's in your, your county or in your city, North Carolina, go get out there and march peacefully. Get out there and protest peacefully. And in November, get out there and vote. Thank you for tuning in to the Black Political Buzz broadcast. God bless.